Good morning. This is uh, Monday, July 12th. And I'd like to begin by wishing Carrie Herrick a happy birthday. It was yesterday, but Carrie, I hope you had a great day in the Lord and you celebrated your birthday. I think you're 72 this year, is that right? Happy birthday, Carrie. We love you. Today's devotion is the spiritually self-seeking church. This is Ephesians 4.13. Till we all come to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And that means till we all look like Jesus. That's Ephesians 4.13. Reconciliation means the restoring of the relationship between the entire human race and God. Putting it back to what God designed it to be. Wouldn't that be wonderful? It's going to be wonderful. This is what Jesus did in redemption. The church ceases to be spiritual when it becomes self-seeking, only interested in the development of its own organization. In other words, we push our agenda and not God's. The reconciliation of the human race, according to God's plan, means realizing Him not only in our lives individually, but also in the lives of the collective fellowship. Jesus Christ sent apostles and teachers for this very purpose, that the corporate person of Christ, us, His church, made up of many members, might be brought into, a, into being and be made known throughout. We are not here to safely... Or, or individually develop a spiritual life of our own, solely. It is there, but we're supposed to do that, but there's more to it than that. Or to enjoy quiet spiritual relaxation. We are here to have the full realization of Jesus Christ for the purpose of building his body. In other words, we are to be Christ to the fullest ability to continue to grow the church so that the world will be affected by what they see. Am I building up the body of Christ so that the world may see it? Or am I only concerned about my own personal development, my own life? The essential thing is my personal relationship with Jesus Christ, that I might know him. That's Philippians 3. To fulfill God's perfect design for me requires my total surrender. In other words, until we surrender to God, we'll always be focused on what we think should happen. Complete abandonment to myself of myself to him. Whenever I only want things for myself, the relationship can become distorted, or it is distorted. And I will suffer great humiliation once I come to the acknowledge and the understanding that I have not really been concerned about realizing Jesus himself, but only concerned with knowing what he has done for me. In other words, we're so focused on what he can do for me, we're not focused on what we can do for him. And it's going to be embarrassing when that hap when, it when that's revealed to us by God, it's going to be embarrassing. My goal is God himself, not joy nor peace, nor even blessing, but himself, my God. Am I measuring my life by this standard? Is it all about God? Or is it about me, self? And that's the challenge I have today. I want to know, how well do you know God? And I know that can sound tongue-in-cheek, but how well do you know God? Do you even know that he has a whole list of names in the Bible? How well do you know God? Do you even know a different name for God? So I have a challenge this week is that take some time and research the names of God. Research the different names of God, find out what they mean, and then pick one just for you. Find out how well you really know God. Because is it just a matter of the, the vending machine Jesus, or do we really know God? So the challenge this week, find out the names of God from Scripture what they mean, and pick one just for you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you are that diversified in our world, that you have so many different names, and you have so many different reasonings and understandings behind those names. Lord, I pray that we would find that list of names and find one that applies to us. Let us get to know you, Lord, because the more we get to know you, the more we love you. And the more we love you, the more your Son is seen in our lives. And the more your Son is seen in our lives, the more other people are drawn to it. Thus they find salvation. So Lord, challenge us this week to get to know you better. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless and look up a name.